Here we are on Friday night, July 29th, 2022, and we get to be here to praise and prayer. It's so exciting to be able to do that with Kent Henry here live um, <laughs> to 65 worship albums, and, then, and now we get to have him as our music minister here on Friday nights. Uh, so join us each time at 6 p.m. Welcome home. Tell you what, uh, I just want to lift this up to the Lord. Lord, just please allow us to be in your presence these next 90 minutes lord may everybody just uh put everything away and just uh, just focus on you these next 90 minutes lord as we just do praise and worship and as your presence comes lord we'll do intercessory prayer thank you for all the praise requests we've been getting all the miracles and healings that you're doing before our eyes lord we lift this next 90 minutes up to you in the mighty name of jesus christ we say these in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, please make sure you join us backstage here if you'd like at B2T, I'm sorry, at the blessedteach.com and go to the backstage tab. Links down below. Uh, this is the ministry that is just being blessed right now by the Lord. We'd love to have you part of this ministry. And download your app on B2T Neighborhood. This is where we are we're doing a free Facebook-like platform where we're all getting together. So almost 2,000 of us there now all as Christian patriots <laughs> supporting each other with groups to pray for each other. So download the app, b2tneighborhood.com or go to b2tneighborhood.com. I'm sorry, or just search your app store uh, or your Google Play store or the Apple app store for b2tneighborhood.com. Those are the announcements. We're going to get the Holy Spirit river flowing right now. <laughs> Kent, how are you? Listen, I am living the dream. We get to worship again for 90 minutes. Woo. And isn't it awesome, Rick, that really the Lord, he's releasing this as a revelation around the world. Hey, come in my presence, worship, let music carry you, and then come and pray. There's a power there when it's released. And this first song tonight, what a beautiful name. It starts, you were the word at the beginning. Oh, one with God, the Lord Most High. Check this. Your hidden glory in creation. Now revealed in you are. You were the word. Sing it out. Yeah. You were the word at the beginning. One with God, the Lord Most High. Hidden glory, God, your hidden glory in creation. Here we go. Now revealed in you, Jesus Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, our King. What a beautiful name it is. And nothing compares to this. What a beautiful, think of it, the beautiful name of Jesus. Oh, what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, our King. What a beautiful name it is. And nothing com nothing compares. Beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. Tag that line, yeah, we cry in the name of Jesus. And the second verse is the heart of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us, Lord. Thanks so much. Yeah, you 
you didn't want heaven without us so jesus you brought heaven down Woo! my sin was great your love was great thank god and what could separate do it again you didn't want heaven you didn't want heaven without us so jesus you brought isn't that wonderful Woo! my sin was great my sin was so great but your love so much greater and what could separate now this time what a wonderful what a wonderful name it is what a wonderful it's full of wonder the name of jesus christ our king what a wonderful it's full of wonder and nothing compares to this what a wonderful name it is the name of jesus the name the name of jesus <laughs> oh my god yeah the name Get ready, get ready, the bridge. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. <laughs> the veil tore before you. You silenced the boast of sin. And you silenced the grave. The heavens are roaring. The praises of your glory. For you are raised to life, you were raised to life again, and you have no rival, you have, that's right, no equal, hey, for you are raised forever, our God reigns, and yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory. Yours is the name above. Do that bridge again, death. And death could not hold you. The veil tore. My God, you silence the boast of sin. And you met the power of the grave. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory for you are raised to life you have no rival you have no oh my god you have no equal now and forever our god who reigns and yours is the king Yours is the glory, yours is the name above all names. Yours is the name above all names. Well, yours is the name, Lord. Yours is the name. Above all names, yeah. Yours is the Lord Jesus, yours, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Hallelujah. Now, what a powerful name it is. Thank you, Lord. What a powerful name it is. We had beautiful, we had wonderful, now it's powerful. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus.
What a powerful name it is And nothing can stand against What a powerful name it is The name Sing it one more time What a powerful name it is What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus Christ our King What a powerful name it is And nothing can stand against What a powerful name well, you guys, it's on tonight. Kathy came on and said, Rick and Ken, I went to the eye doctor and she needs prayer. And we're doing it right at the front end. There's already, already the power of his name and his presence is here. But Kathy, go ahead and unmute. Tell him the story and then we're going to decide who could pray. We got power to pray for your eyes right here, right now. And Yeah, well, I just went for a... Uh, check up after a procedure I had a month ago so it was supposed to be just an in and out but my pressure was so high it was up in the 50s and so they were very concerned and it and they wow. couldn't get it to come down so they are uh, want to send me to a glaucoma specialist now I call this an evil report because <laughs> I know what the Word of God says, and it says, By the yes. stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Yeah. And that the name of Jesus is above the name of glaucoma. Yes. So I expect that as we're praying and praising tonight, that this Woo. is going to be resolved. And when I get to the specialist, he's going to say, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to the great physician, Kathy, tonight. Yeah. We're going to go to the great physician. Rick, who do you want to pray? Yeah, awesome. Lori's on a roll with her beautiful healing prayers. So All Lord, right. Lori, would you mind taking this? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Father, we just thank you, Father, for your word. Your word in Ephesians says that because of Jesus, we have obtained, obtained an inheritance. And we've been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Well, Father, we know, we know Jesus. that your will is total health, total healing. Your will, Lord, for Kathy is absolute clarity in her eyesight, Father. Father, we pray for Kathy's eyes, Father, that every nerve, Father, every, um, everything in her eyeball and anything else that is connected to her eyes to her brain father yes. that that be healed father by the blood of jesus because that is our inheritance father yes and a, an inheritance is something we get that we possess so father in the name of jesus i just declare that kathy is possessing her inheritance with absolutely perfect eyesight father that her eyesight father just totally stuns and amazes the Woo. doctors but father as kathy goes in she will tell she will tell and she will share yeah. the glory father that you have put uh. upon her and we declare father that kathy will witness to that whole office and you will get the glory because yeah. you have kept your promise and Kathy's inheritance is Woo! intact in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let's go ahead and sing it, Rick. The great physician is our healer for Kathy and anybody else that needs healing tonight. The great physician is our healer. The great physician is our healer again. The great physician is our healer. By your stripes we're healed. By your stripes we're healed. Yeah. The great physician is our healer. Everybody sing it together, y'all. Yeah. The great physician is our healer. The great physician is our healer. 
by your stripes we're healed but come on everybody awesome yeah yeah the great physician is our healer yeah yeah the great physician it, this is so this is the word of god tonight yeah yeah the great physician is our healer by your stripes we're healed come on let's do it one more time wow presence of the lord yeah. the great physician is our the living god is the great physician lord the great physician you are our healer the great physician is our healer and by your stripes we're healed by your stripes we're healed by your stripes we're healed by your and the second song in the night rick segue right into it you're worthy of it all you're worthy of it all it's sung around the world now you're worthy of it all daniel primer the worship leader of this for from you are all things think about it to you are all From you are all things, including healing tonight. You're worthy of it all. Of all the glory and all the praise. You're worthy of it all. Man, that's so strong. Woo! For from you are all things. To you are all things. You deserve. And here's the verse right out of the book of Revelation. Oh, all the saints and angels bow before your throne. We, we bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crown before the Lamb of God. Do that again. All the saints and angels and all the saints and angels. Wow. Bow before your throne. And all the think of it in heaven. All the elders cast their crown before the Lamb of God. And here's what they sing. You're worthy of it all. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy of it all. Check that, man. For from you are all things. Are all things you deserve the glory? You're worthy of it all. Yeah, you're worthy of it all. For from you, for from you are. Now this bridge encapsulates the very thing we're doing tonight on this stream. Day and night and night and day, let incense arise. Incense in the book of Revelation is called the prayers of the saints. Hear it. As we intermingle praise with prayer and worship with intercession, let me take a minute. 
in, intermingling praise with prayer. I think I was 29 years old. So 40 years ago, the Lord said, I was standing on the parking lot of Victory Fellowship. I had been pastoring this church for about 15 months, and I knew we were going to install a new pastor. And the Lord said, Kent, I want you to teach my body how to intermingle praise with prayer and worship. The inter this is your calling, son. Teach my body. It was so personal. It was so, per he didn't say church or church people. He said, I want you to teach my body, the body of Christ, how to intermingle praise with prayer and worship with intercession. Hear it again intermingling which is why we do this monday thursday and friday night we're intermingling praise with prayer and worship with intercession yes. here's the bridge day and night day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise and day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Oh, day and night, it's the prayers of the saints rising. Yeah, yeah. One more time, yeah, 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 and day and night, night and let the prayers of the saints arise. Day and night, night and day, let the prayers of the saints keep rising. Yeah. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Well, day and night. We're going to do that chorus one more time. And then I'm going to hand back to Rick and whatever prayer stuff we got going on. You're worthy of it all. Come on, sing it to Jesus tonight. You're worthy of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For from you are all things. deserve the glory yeah. you're worthy of it all all the praise all the glory you're worthy you're worthy of it all for from you are from you are all things lord you uphold the universe by the word of your power. That's why we can pray for Kathy and say, she's healed. The pressure has gone back to normal in her eyes or anything else that we have to pray for. Even the next few weeks, you uphold all things by the word of your power. So here we are in the Holy Spirit River. Rick, back to you. Prayer points, praise reports, our prayer requests. Wow. Yeah, there's quite a few prayer requests want to come in, but I wanted to get some praise reports out, right? I know Vicki and Lois have some. <laughs> Lois has one from just today. Vicki, over the last couple weeks. So, Vicki, would you mind starting, Vicki Shoot? Just talk about what's happened to you the last few weeks. You're still muted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you right. go. So yes, um, I have a lot of praise and um, thankfulness to the Lord and um, for just so many prayers answered this past year, um, but especially these past weeks and that you witnessed. Um, I, I, I was thinking today that um, 
I don't know how to explain it except to go backwards. And so um, I had developed fibromyalgia many years ago and then it was kind of in remission and then it came back full force again about two months ago um, in the middle of a, a storm of other symptoms um, that lasted all year. And so any other time, I think I would have really been feeling hopeless um, because I didn't want to have to go re revisit that time, that 17 years of heavy drugs um, just to function, um, to sleep, drugs that robbed me of dreams for 17 years, my emotions, and um, just dulled the pain but didn't fix it. Um, so um, I just, you know, people lifting me up um, in, in this prayer group and then in other prayer groups, um, I started to see a change, but especially a couple weeks ago um, when I came to the prayer group and I really didn't want to go because I didn't want to, um, you know, I just didn't, I just wasn't, I didn't have enough strength to participate. And so the more we praised um, and Kent singing, I just felt um, the Lord just, just almost like pulled it up out of me, um, the pain oh, and Jesus. lessened. Wow. And, um, and, and then this weird, this strange feeling of um, <laughs> just, just like, it was more than happiness. It's giddiness. It's, it's this joy, like Carla said, she named it. It was the joy of the Lord which I never realized what the joy of the Lord was until that yes. night. Wow. Um, and, and it only, and there, there were so many other events that happened that led to that, that I knew that it was from the Lord. Um, I had, I had words of knowledge given to me two weeks before that, that I was going to be healed soon from other people. I had my own word of knowledge that came through, um, just came through one night and I looked up a verse and it's from, it's from, you know, it's an Orthodox Catholic verse. So it's not in the, it's not in the Protestant Bible, but it is, a, you know, one of the books in the Hebrew Bible is the book of Tobit. And the only reason I knew about it was because I was in an icon prayer group for 18 years writing icons that which is painting icons for people and praying wow. and so this this one story is very popular with the orthodox christians the, the the russian and the greeks and it saint you know they call they call him saint but it's it's raphael the angel raphael is sent to heal to tobias and this woman named sarah and he heals them through God, spiritually and physically at the same time, which is the only time that says in the Bible, it was both times. And so his name means God heals. Well, there's no coincidence since my physical therapist that took care of me through the past year, his name is, is named Rahul, he's from Poland. So this night I came home and I was feeling really bad and I it just came into my mind and said look up Rahul's name what is the meaning and so I looked it up and I saw that it meant Raphael which is you know from the angel Raphael and it means God heals yes, he and does. so I knew that connection and I and I just asked the Lord please reveal it to me and that's when he led me to the book of Tobit. And one of the things it says, and here's, here's the icon. I never wow. wrote, I have never painted this icon. This is one of the ones I've never done myself. My teacher has, he's Russian. But in the, in the, the verse, in the Bible, it says, take courage. This, the time is near for God to heal you. Take courage, book of Tobit 5.10. So I read that and I just said, okay, Lord, it's, you know, it, I believe. So five days later, I went to Virginia Beach and Rick prayed for me, Chris, Amanda's husband, um, Gus, but also Pastor Todd Coconato. 
prayed for me and he said almost the same exact words. He said to me, Vicki, you're an intercessor. And I, I nodded and he said, and you're anointed. And I said, someone told me that. And he said, you're gonna be healed soon. And you know, I just got the chills and I just said, okay, you know, God, thank you. You know, I believe. And so I, from here, I went, I went home. I wound up having to have surgery for a hernia, which had nothing to do with all this. <laughs> and the surgeon, he said to me, Vicki, you have fibromyalgia. Did you ever have trauma? And I said, no, I've never, I don't think I've ever had trauma. I never had a crime or I've never been in an accident. However, I did have a, I did have a C-section and the anesthesiologist, oh, unfortunately, was abusing drugs. And he oh, took God. my fentanyl, my oh, drug my fentanyl. Ouch. And when, they, yeah, when they cut into me, I felt it. Oh. And um, so I told him that and he said, well, it wasn't a virus, Vicky. It was a trauma that caused this. And so <laughs> here's an example of how you're, you're your brain works. I literally walked out that door and forgot about it for a week and a half. And it was only the, the only reason I remembered it was because I had bought Brain Medic's book on how to, how to speak in the spirit, whatever. I forget how to access the spirit or whatever. <laughs> a week and a half later, I came to finally chapter six and it starts off with, if you have ever experienced trauma make sure you have someone here with you before you read this chapter because you're we're going to wow. visualize trauma and how to ask jesus to heal you yeah so i literally wow. went through an exercise with him and wow. i mm -hmm. i brought up all the emotions i brought up wow. the anger and the and uh and all the things that happened during that operation including watching him take that medicine from me and um oh. so it makes it short i don't want to keep going because there's so many so many yeah. other things but <laughs> you got to come that, to the gloria and you know, prayer part <laughs> yeah Doc, Doc, dr chen who took care of me i looked up his name the day the night i came home and it meant believe he's a chinese uh physician the surgeon and the last drug they gave me before i left the the or the uh, the recovery room um was that drug that was taken from me so to me, it felt like it was full circle. God healed all that, and that leads us spiritually. Wow. And I'm waiting for Him. My you know, um, it'll it'll come physically too. So glory to God. I praise I praise you, God, for all the yeah. little details that you gave us. Wow. And I just pray for other people that they'll also receive the same. Yeah, and I think uh, and I think uh, Vicky, I think the major thing I wanted to to talk about is that tightness you felt around, and you were here at uh, praise and prayer. We prayed for you, and yeah. just got released completely. Gone. Right, it's gone. gone. It was like a vice. It was like a vice. Yeah, it's gone. And that's that has not come back at all. Yeah. Yeah, and so. this is important, Vicky. I want people to understand. As soon as I saw Vicky, I knew she was under the weather or not feeling good. And I went ahead and, and addressed it. I didn't wait till 20 or 30 minutes in or whatever. And boom, there it was. And all of a sudden, it, that release and the joy, and she was laughing. And I said, hey, the power of God affects. If you hook up to 220, buddy, you're going to feel it. And so that that was so powerful for me personally. I mean, we prayed for a lot of people, but to see, and you're still smiling. Look at you. <laughs> I just want to quickly get to uh, Lois's uh, um testimony and let's move into some music after that we got tons of prayer requests in so we'll have well, to figure out a do. mechanism to suppress them go ahead go we ahead, do Lois. have we do have tons of prayer requests and i'm gonna make mine <clears throat> as brief as i can uh, i had a i had a bladder infection and i went to to call the doctor they did a test and my numbers were through the roof normal white count is I think one, zero to four at the, at the most, and mine was way over 400. And the blood in the urine was normal, zero to five, and I had well over 500, almost 600. So obviously there was an infection, but my doctor decided that she would withhold medication oh, God. and do a culture, which takes two days. <clears throat> so the next morning I went to the 
uh, urgent care and uh, had another test and they gave me medicine right away. So, um, uh, long story short, I don't want to <laughs> take a lot of time. Today, when we had our prayer meeting, once again, I asked Gloria to pray for me and I just have, and so we are so blessed. The ministry, our ministry is so blessed. We have a prayer warrior that has the gift of healing and she has healed Vicki of her tightness in her chest. She has healed me. I was going to go back to bed today because I felt lousy again and after she prayed for me i feel amazing <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's what that's, that's what the, the enemy the, gets the lord of lords and the king of kings <laughs> the power of his name hallelujah and you, you just cannot imagine you just can't imagine what it's like to be in such horrible pain and bleeding and being told you're not getting any medicine and then the lord comes along and he heals and it's just, I am, I, I, I'm speechless. I can't say anymore. I don't know what to say. Just you thank you. You get a dose of the best you, medicine, Lois. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. All right. Let's praise him. We can't. <laughs> well, we're here for you, Lord. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with our praise. Almighty God of love, be welcome in this place. Let every heart adore, let every soul away. Almighty God of love, you're welcome in this place. Do it again. We welcome you and pray. We welcome you with our praise. Almighty God of love, you welcome in this place and let every heart adore let every soul away almighty god of love you welcome we give you all our praise yeah and giving you all our praise check it out and let our this is your welcome let our song this is your sign that we are here for you lord we are here for you yeah check this out let your breath lord and let your breath come from heaven you fill our hearts lord with your because this is it we are here for you yeah, yeah yeah we are here for you to you our hearts yeah to you our hearts are open nothing here is hidden you see you are our what you're our one desire and you alone are holy only you are worthy oh god let your fire to you our hearts are open and to you our hearts are open nothing here is hidden and you hear us lord you are our one desire you alone are holy only you are worthy god let your fire fall down let your fire fall down come on lift that up before the lord let your fire fall down everywhere in this land lord Everywhere in this land, Lord, all around the world. Because we welcome you, yeah. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, you're welcome in this place. Let every heart adore. 
every soul away almighty god of love in your flowing in this place we welcome you with praise we welcome you with praise almighty god of love my god we welcome you with praise and let every heart adore let every soul awake my god almighty god of love you're flowing in this place yeah miracle working god a miracle working god you're flowing in this place come on singing miracle working a miracle working god miracle working god you're flowing in this place your Holy Spirit river is flowing in this place, a miracle working God flowing in this place, yeah. We welcome you with praise, we welcome you with praise, almighty God of love, you're flowing in this place. Let every heart adore, let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, you're flowing. Come on, one more time. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, you're flowing in this place. So let it every heart adore let every soul awake almighty god of love you're welcome in this place this is the air i breathe yeah. and this is the air i breathe the presence of almighty god this is the air I breathe. Yeah. Your holy presence. It's living, living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Awesome. is my daily bread your very word your very word it's spoken to me you guys ready Desperate for you. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and I, I'm lost without you. I'm so lost without you. I don't want to do one day without the Lord or one hour without his presence. Desperate for you, yeah. And I, <laughs> I'm lost without you. All right, from the very beginning, and then we'll start praying. This is the air I breathe, the pure oxygen of His glory in heaven. Ah. Yeah. This is the air I breathe. Woo! This is the air I breathe. This is the air. This is the air I breathe. 
This is the air I breathe, pure oxygen of your glory. This is the air I breathe. And here's what it is. Your holy prayer, your holy presence. and intercession and guess what it works because it's his anointing and his presence ha ah, how about that Woo! Woo, we love Rick. this hey guess what <laughs> i think that you can take some of the ones in chat that are bottom up i'll take it from top down we're gonna have to whip through these there's like 20 prayer requests okay so i'm gonna i'm first gonna bring up terry's they need rain in the communities in north texas and the verge of having uh not having water um, it's really hitting the farmers as well. Gunner is the latest uh, community to announce they are running out of water. So Heavenly Father, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you control the weather. And uh, Lord, uh, we're asking that this North Texas, all the farmers, all the people that are, are that, that need yes. to for their for their various areas of just even the grass, Lord, but you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, you control everything. So Lord, we just pray, so not just in North Texas, but every place that needs rain, Lord, that you'll bring that blessing to us all. As you take down Hallelujah. this cabal and you bless all of us, we know there's gonna be some rough times here, but Lord, we are looking for you to do all this. I'm praying for uh, Charlotte and her daughters. Um, it looks like there was that Tabitha and Brain and three children and fourth. Sorry about my bad eyes. Intuendo, Brian just got his job. Wow, there's a lot here. <laughs> Delacia, twin sister, not walking with God. So this is uh, Charlotte. Um, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, I just pray for the daughters of Tabitha and uh, the three children of, and, and the, the fourth as well as uh, Brian. The, the, thank you for the, 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 the praise request of Brian getting his job. Delisha, the twin sister, not not wow. walking with God. We pray for her, her, and so we just pray for blessings of this entire family, Lord. Whoever asked this, I think it was Charlotte, Lord, but we just we just ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will you will be with that family and with all the families that love you, Lord. And and Lord, I'm just gonna do an umbrella prayer, prayer real quick over all these. You see everything that's been typed in Facebook and YouTube and Rumble and been fed, put put into Twitch and put into the neighborhood put all these areas asking for prayer, Lord. and you are the Lord, the God the Lord of Lord and you is you by the power of your name Jesus and the blood you shed we're asking you to answer all these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus uh, Gus would you take a couple 
Amanda, I see Amanda as well. Yes, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll start from the bottom with Joyce Camel, and she's praying for her crazy cat. She's at wit's end for the cat that's picking hairballs and destroying her home. Wants us to pray for her to have discernment because she wants to rehome him after nine years at this terrible point in her life. Lord, we just want to pray. Father God, you know this cat needs a home. And she obviously loves this cat because she's asking for prayer to res resolve this matter, Lord. We just pray that you heal this cat of, of picking up its hairballs, Lord. <laughs> we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, as silly as this may seem, uh, our, our animals mean a lot to us, Lord. So we pray that you resolve this matter so that she doesn't have to get rid of the cat. The cat stays in a nice home. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, going to go with Terry Winters and his prayer for the hip and eyebrows. It's an odd combination, but Father God, <laughs> you created us in our mother's womb. You knit us together in our mother's womb. You created everything about us and we're fearfully wonderfully made. And whatever the issue is with this hip board, we know it came from the enemy. Because all illness, sickness, there's none of that in heaven. There's none of that in your presence, Lord. We pray right now and decree in the name of Jesus Christ, this hip be healed. And whatever is going on with the eyebrows as well, Lord, healing in Jesus' name. And we've Amen. got Dana Durkin. The mother needs prayer. The doc says she has neuro... Endocrine cancer. Endocrine cancer. Yeah. Would you like to get that one, man? Neuroendocrine cancer in her lungs, bronchioles, and lymph nodes. Her name is Joyce, and she is 81. Oh, you want me to? Oh, I'll pray. Yes. Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, we praise you, Father God, because nothing is too difficult for you. You are an ever-present help yes. in times of trouble, Father God. We lift Joyce up right now, Father God. We lift Dana's mother up. Her name is Joyce. And Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Marrow organ area. And when a man Christ, her endocrine system is restored to order. We speak divine order from her head to her feet. Wow. Speak to her bronchials now. Oh. Father God, that the lungs would be healed and restored, we seek order and and decree it now for the doctor. Father God, that the root cause of these issues would come out now from Jesus. Healing into her body, into her self. And the whole is in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, awesome stuff. We lost some of that, so I need to speak into the, in the toward the computer a little more. But awesome. Like Lord heard every word, by the way. Carolyn Cummings, uh, I need to pay pray for my. And I, I think it's dermatitis i think it is something like it keeps coming back and lord we just pray against all diseases now that people have out there that are that are that are interfering with the, the normal process that you made adam and eve with lord just give them the perfect bodies back lord to remove an impediments that they have in the mighty name of jesus we're calling this by the authority of the name above all names jesus and the blood that he shed for us lord again that this will remove dermatitis or any other disease that people are having right now. Lord, that just raise their hand right now and accept that and receive that in Jesus' name, Lord. Vicki Shoup's uh, son had a serious accident. Is that uh, work tonight? Her husband's there at the hospital. Lord, we pray for her son, Vicki's son, right now, Lord. We just pray, pray the Lord, that, that, that he'll be massively healed. He'll come on this, and he will come closer to you with this circumstance. And this whole circumstance, Al and Vicki and their son, and all that, they, 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 you will use them as mighty men and women of God going forward, Lord, as you keep them healthy, Lord. Thank you for that. Cecilia, uh, wow, we're looking at this. Uh, Jamie, can can yeah, you pray for my right shoulder? Uh, this is Jamie wanting Kent to pray for her right shoulder. 
I use my arm and, Rick, and it's really sore. What I'm going to do is we're going to start singing the prophetic song of the Lord. Jehovah Rapha is my healer. Everybody sing it. Jehovah Rapha is my healer. stripes we're healed come on everybody on this stream pick it up jehovah rapha jehovah rapha is my healer yes lord jehovah rapha is my healer By your stripes we're here. It's happening right now. Keep it, stay in that river with the Lord. But Jehovah Rapha is my healer. For our transgressions, Lord, you were bruised for our iniquities, and by your stripes, hear it tonight, the word of the Lord, you were wounded for our transgression, you were bruised for our iniquity, by your stripes were healed, by your stripes were everybody, and by your stripes, it's the word of God. It's also in 1 Peter 2, 24, that by his stripes, whatever you need tonight, reach out to the Lord and receive in grace and by the mercy of God. Woo! Come on, one more time. Jehovah Rapha, you're my healer. Yeah, yeah. Jehovah Rapha is my healer. stripes were healed all right rick give me the name again who am i praying for jamie has a right shoulder problem okay in jesus name we go right in great we've been on the great physician all night the great physician touches it now it's like his spiritual surgery he's knitting back together every little piece of that shoulder if you fell on it if it's a rotator cuff whatever it is healed in the name of yeshua healed in the name lord we ask you as the great physician tend to jamie you're tending to jamie she's your sheep and you're healing her right now so i declare in jesus name the name above soldier shoulder injuries healing rain right now jehovah rapha as our healer healing rain and all through the night all through the night you'll sense oh my god that just divine like burning of the lord and you'll arise in the morning to a completely healed shoulder because he says so because by his stripes you were healed and thanks for asking me to pray for you i believe in jesus and i believe his word back to you rick hallelujah in yeah. jesus name awesome Woo. we're not going to be able to get to all these prayers so i want to make sure everybody goes to the b2t neighborhood and goes to the prayer written prayer request group okay put your prayer request there you'll see us type them out for you during the week so make sure you go to the b2t neighborhood you can get it on your mobile phone on the app store as well as on the google store uh, play store as well as b2t neighborhood.com on your pc right go to the group written prayer request and we'll get you there right i'm going to pray real quickly for maria padella and just lord we just pray that you just refresh her right now with the axe 
320, we talk about that refreshing spirit comes across here. She's not down anymore. She's positive. She actually lives Philippians 4, 6, and 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything. We pray for her brother, Anthony, who's who's a fat dialysis and all these different items. Lord, we just pray for a miracle by Jesus' name the name above all names and the blood that he shed for us. By that authority, we call Anthony healed, Lord. We're looking forward from getting off dialysis and the doctors being absolutely amazed, Lord. Thank you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, we have so many other prayer requests. I'm just going to try to just, just, just to ask, a, I'm going to ask Annette now, who's a prayer warrior as well from Sweden, to lift up. Um, let's see, who, who do we have next here? Um, my son, MS. Got Linda. Yeah. Um, Susan Richardson, my son MS needs healing and salvation. My daughter needs to return to Yahweh. So, uh, so she's got a son named MS needs healing, and a daughter that um, that doesn't give a name. The daughter that needs to return to Yahweh. Would you mind praying, Annette? Just love to give the international yes. prayer flavor in. <laughs> of course, dear sweet wonderful heavenly Father. We just come before you with our hearts and we know how great you are. We know how great Jesus is, Yeshua, the name above every, all other names. He is the greatest. And we just lift up these people before you, Father. You know what's going on in their lives. And we just ask you, Father, that you will do your will in their lives, your plans, your ways, and fill them with your Holy yes. Spirit, yes, empowering them, God, with your Holy Spirit, and lead them and guide them in their lives and fill them, Holy Spirit, with the love, with the love of God. The love that can't, it's no comparison with that love of Jesus. The great I am, the Lord, the Lord. We just thank you, Father, what you will do in these people's lives. We just praise you, praise you, praise you, Father God. And we are here for you, no one else, just you, Lord. And we just thank you, thank you, thank you for what you are doing and what you will do. We praise you, we love you, and we adore you. God, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And Kevin, I, and Ken, I, I'm going to do a little bit of a, just with the Holy Spirit flowing here, go um, to our to our scriptures. We'll pray for, and we'll teach on Jacob and, and Isaac and Esau and all that to blessing stuff uh, on Monday and Thursday and Friday going forward. Um, but I'm going to put up a scripture right here. That's a special scripture that we want to sing about, right? I'm going to start with Colossians 1, 9. Yes. And it says, And so from that, the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. And that's what we pray for everyone that's listening to this broadcast right now as we sing this that we will continue to seize, not to pray for everyone without seizing, but more importantly, that you will be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Kent? To be filled with the knowledge of your will, Lord, we pray and sing tonight the apostolic prayer. To be filled with the knowledge of your will, be filled with the knowledge of your will. You are taking us higher. Be filled with the knowledge of your will, Lord. Be filled with the knowledge of your will. In all wisdom and might, be 
filled with the knowledge of God's will. Be filled with the knowledge of God's will. This is the apostolic prayer of Paul. We continue praying for you. You will be filled with the knowledge of God's will. You will be filled with the knowledge of God's will. And you will be filled with the knowledge of God's will. Next part, Rick. Right, and then this apostolic prayer from Paul continues in verse 10. This is Colossians 1. It says, So as to walk in the manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Look at all that meat there. Oh, Lord God, thank you for the, your scripture. Um, but that we want people so that they will walk in a manner that's worthy of the Lord. That everyone that's listening to my voice will be fully pleasing to Him. That they will bear yes. fruit in every good work that they do. And they will increase in the knowledge of God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Worthy, you show us how to walk worthy of our calling. Bringing pleasure to your heart. Oh, you teach us, Lord, to understand worthy, to fulfill our calling, being pleasing in your sight, being pleasing in your walking, worthy of the Lamb of God, well, walking worthy of you, Lamb of God, walking worthy, pleasing in your sight, Lord. You show us what is pleasing in your sight. You show us what is pleasing in your sight. Walking worthy of our calling in you, yeah. Walking worthy of our calling in you. You show us what's pleasing in your sight, Lord. You show us what's pleasing in we want to walk worthy of this calling walking worthy of this calling in you you show us what's pleasing in your sight verse 10 fruitful be multiplied awesome Kent thank you so much for singing the word of God I mean how awesome is that to be able to do that I wanted to come back I, I, I want to see if I notice we've got some prayer warriors out there that haven't participated yet I know Julie's just become an awesome prayer warrior so has Ruth um, I'm going to give you guys a couple of prayer requests here so there's a Mel J who's asking for prayers for a friend he's no more he has, he has a, a sore he has no more sore throat or fever how the prayer he does not get lung COVID or long-term COVID. So we're praying for a friend of Mel J's health here. Um, so would you take that, Julie? Or maybe just talk, take, talk about all people's uh, health and not getting COVID. <laughs> Can you hear me? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So we're praying for who again? I'm sorry. Mel J's friend. Mel J's friend. <laughs> Mel J's friend so he doesn't get COVID, right? Yeah. Well, I have to tell you something. God already won. Woo! <laughs> I want to show you the t-shirt. <laughs> so uh, we will pray right now. We will raise up. What is his name again? I'm so sorry. I, Mel J's I'm, friend. Mel J. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we lift up Mel J and we pray for his lungs to be completely healed. We pray that you protect him from getting COVID. We pray for any family member that is around him that you protect him from getting COVID. We pray for that evil C word, sorry, um, that we would no longer be a problem in our in our culture anymore, that it would completely rebuke and dismantle and, and taken away completely in, in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Amen. Sorry. <laughs> Amen. Awesome. Awesome. And Ruth, there's somebody praying here. And I put my glasses on. It's so bad. That's how old I'm getting, guys. Um, this is Dear Lord, touch this. Okay. Linda Jackson. Pray for, okay, this is the easy one for you, Ruth. Pray for President Trump as watching Amanda Grace and Governor DeSantis and Mike Lindell. God knows why. 
God, they need prayer. So basically, Amanda is saying, is saying to pray, and others are saying pray for President Trump, and so does Julie Green without ceasing. So listen to Linda Jackson's request. Would you mind praying, Ruth? You're, you're still yeah. muted, Ruth. I'm sorry. Um, there you go. Sorry. Now we hear you. Now we you hear you. You can hear me now? You got gotcha. Okay. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> Father, thank you for your spirit among us. It's so rich, so beautiful. I just thank you for this latter day rain that we are lavishing in right now. I thank you that in the way that you're coming upon us and coming upon this earth. And I thank you for the way that you're coming upon the Trump family right now, President Trump and his whole family. We just pray right now for this latter day rain to just fall upon them and refresh them and that they would experience you in ways that they have never experienced you before in intimacy that you would just just touch every area of their being that you would give them the strength they need the wisdom they need we just ask that you would pour out your spirit upon them and also upon mike Lindell, and basically all the patriots that are the wow. fathers, including Amanda and Julie Green, the generals that you have put forth in this army that we are uh, marching in before you, that all our eyes are on you. We, we protect right now and we cover in your precious name, Jesus Yeshua, all our leaders that are, that are spurring us on as well. And I just Thank you for your latter day rain coming upon them now for protection, body, soul, and spirit, for new divine wisdom, power in the words that we speak and that they speak, that you would give them visions and dreams, even more clarity of where you would have us to go and that you would clear the way of the enemy, that they would fall and that you would just usher in your beautiful presence and in our lives in your name we pray Yeshua. amen and ruth that's a new youtube channel ruth just wow. quickly say where they find you she's blown the show far um <laughs> preaching the word in short little videos ruth where do they find you um right now i'm on youtube under ruth Aliyah. it's e-l-i-y-a-h and um I'm looking in, getting a lot of um, recommendations on how to make that go further. It's been something that um, God has laid on my heart, and I want to really reach out and kind of be a herald, <laughs> just a, a general, general also in a different way. I, I don't have the prophetic words, but uh, all of our skills are needed, and I want to step up in the ways he's leading. Would you mind trying to blow your shofar? I think the Zoom kind of blocks it, but would you mind trying to do a quick shofar blow? Sure, I'll try to do it quietly. Okay. <laughs> because yeah. it does block it when you go loud. <laughs> it does. It goes loud. It just blocks it. I'm going to have to scoot this back a little bit. I've got this enormous shofar. I've had it for over 20 years. I love the warfare. I, that's where I'm, you know, God has had me for many years as a warrior. And I... Uh, the shofar has meant so much to me, Blo, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna call in his presence right now and and say, Arise, Yahweh, and let your enemies be scattered and your latter day rain fall upon your people. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, unfortunately Zoom blocks it. We need to fix that. <laughs> it's blocking it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's awesome. You it's can the... hear it and the Lord can hear it. So That's, that's right, that's right. <laughs> First. That is awesome. No, that think, is awesome. Silly. I think it's a, a, it's a limiter, Rick. It limit it. It'll it'll cut it off because it's it's limiting it. Yeah, so we need to figure out how we get that off Zoom. Okay, so um, hey, I wanted to see if Cecilia would make, take one of these. It says I need prayer for. This is Linda Buchanan or Buchanan. I need a prayer for a seventy-year-old friend. Her and her family adopted me. I'm seventy-five years old and have no family. Um, she is having surgery in her eye and they are making her take a virus test before they do surgery. I tried to talk to her not to take the test. Now she's mad at me. She doesn't believe of everything that's going on. We can't even talk about anything. She said it's a, all propaganda. It's causing me to have bad anxieties. I, have, I, I haven't had them for a long time. I'm afraid of her. 
All right, so Linda Buchanan um, is where, who we're praying for. Cecilia, would you mind lifting that up? Of course. Father, we thank you that your spirit is one of peace, comfort, love. Provide us with a sound mind. Do not provide us with fear. Our only fear should be a fear of you, Lord, and that is not a fear of danger, but that is um, step off. And Father, we thank you that you will bring upon this woman, Lord, uh, both women, Father. There is trying to dictate what both women are doing, Lord, and it is causing dissension, and that's what the devil is all about, the separation and dissension among families, whether they've been put together by you or whether they're put together naturally. So, Father, we come against that spirit of dissension and fear right now that is hovering over both these women in Jesus' name, and we pray that there would, your love would just transcend everything that they are experiencing toward one another right now, that they would be reminded of the love that they had for each other as family and that nothing would interfere with that any further lord and where surgery is involved lord we pray lord, for healing we pray that your hand and your blessing will pay upon all of those that are involved in this um surgery lord and, and we pray that you will again knit these two women together um as family lord in, in accordance with your will should it be your will lord but we pray that loneliness that um um, forgive me, I forget the names, that the loneliness that a woman that is requesting the prayer it may be feeling, Lord, will be replaced by your comfort. Let her feel your warm embrace around her. We ask that you flood her with your Holy Spirit. We ask that um, you help her to embrace what you are offering to her and to accept it, Lord, and any healing that she may need in her own heart, Lord, that is giving way to these anxieties and the, this loneliness and, and um, this fear of isolation, Lord, we ask that you bring healing there also, Father. Again, we praise you, we thank you that you do put people in families, you've done it with me over the years, and I know that you'll continue to do that, Lord, and we ask for your will to be done relationally where these two women are concerned, and we thank you and we praise you, in Jesus' name we ask this, amen. Amen. And Rick, yes. let's go, great I am. Hallelujah, holy, holy, God Almighty, you're the great I am, and who is worthy, and none beside thee, and God Almighty, you're the, come on, everybody lift it up, oh well. Hallelujah, holy, holy, God, oh, who is he? You're the great I am, and who is worthy, none beside thee, God Almighty, you're the great I want to be near to your heart, Lord. I want to be near, near to your heart. Well, loving the world, hating the dark. I want to see dry bones living again. Singing, do that again. I want to be near your heart, Lord. Yeah, I want to live near, near to your heart, loving the world, but hating the dark. I want to see dry bones living again. Singing at here we go, everybody. Uh, hallelujah. Holy, holy God Almighty, you're the great I am. And who is worthy? None beside thee, God. 
Spirit hit me with the last prayer. Uh, it was uh, the prayer for the 70 year old woman, the friend. Yeah. Uh, what hit me, what struck me was she said she thinks it's all propaganda. And this is for everybody. I think we all can attest to the fact that we have family members and friends that have been bewitched, mm -hmm. that have been put under a spell by the mainstream media and everything the enemy has been throwing wow. at us. And the Lord right now is unfolding events. It's the Lord and no one else. He's unfolding events to open eyes. And we I just want to take the time to thank the Lord for these events and these unfolding. Yes. Yes. And I want to decree a thing. I want to decree that all these people who think this is propaganda, that it's not the end for them, that the Lord loves them. They are the seed of Adam. If they are the seed of Adam, Lord, that you're going to do something to open their eyes, to bring them back to the foot of your throne, Lord, to bring sing praises to you that everyone Woo! will Jesus. be awakened and will we'll celebrate and sing together. Amen. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Gus. Um, Terry hey, and Rick, we, we have a Rick, Rick, praise well, report. I, I, Oops. I, I, I wanted to say something first, bro. Uh, Julie, that's on here. I don't know if that was a dove that came in the picture. Here's what happened. My youngest daughter, Ariel, Julie. Oh, she she's bringing the she's bringing him back. I was singing for the. She called her album "Among the Branches" because they drank of the living water and flew up in the trees in Psalm 104. So I've been singing for everybody, including the birds, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. But I wanted Julie to hear this, that Ariel's album, this is called Among the Branches. I said, Ariel, what, what is that? She goes, oh, dad, you should know this, Psalm 104. The, the birds, they drink out of the, the streams of living water and they fly up among the branches and praise the Lord. I go, oh, yeah, I knew that. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wanted Julie to hear that All praise. Right. God, go ahead, Rick. We have another praise report from Terry. Go ahead, Terry. Uh, was that Teresa? I'm sorry. Was it Teresa or Terry? Well, somebody had a praise report. <laughs> Which one? Whichever one you had. Unmute and give us it. That yeah, was Teresa. Said praise report. So go ahead, Teresa. It's, you need to unmute though. She's trying. She's trying to unmute. She's got the. She's got the iPhone. Sometimes it's tough. <laughs> Yeah, so Teresa's not able to, to 
report. Okay, praise report. <laughs> All right, let's go. I, I think I'm unmuted. Yep, we hear you. you are now. I'm unmuted. Uh, it says I'm unmuted. You're fine. Go. Go. Oh, we hear you. Okay. Anyway, I went to the gym this morning, and there's an older gentleman there. He's 102 years old. <laughs> He's 102 years old, oh my and he, he had on a captain's hat, and I said, Captain, I need to know what you want me to do today. <laughs> Don't listen to yourself. Keep going. You need to turn today. down your whatever. And you're he said, "Raise on. your load." Teresa, you can't take the breaks. You just need to talk. I raised the load to six, mm -hmm. which is higher than I've ever had on the on the unit step. Woo! And, and he said, "Raise your load." So I raised my load to six, which is very high for me. I've never been at that level before. And I went five miles. I was able to do five miles and I was so excited. And then I got up and used the walker and walked about halfway around the track. And I had not done that before. And I just got so excited. Woo. And I just had to share it with you because I know I saw Gus, I saw Amanda with Gus and I wanted Gus to tell Amanda that she had encouraged me so much from listening to her story of what happened to her and how God had healed her. And it gave me courage to try things that I've never tried before. And so I, and I listened to her again today after this experience and I wanted to contact her and i thought no i'm not going to do that i'm not going to bother her during you know when she's doing a service but since you're with her please tell her i love her and thank her for her encouragement and thank you all for your prayers because i know it's making a huge difference and i can't wait until i can just call you and say okay guys i'm just walking <laughs> <laughs> awesome yeah and for those of you who don't awesome. know her story yeah thank you gus go ahead yeah, Gus just said, I'll tell I Amanda. I was just saying that I, I sure will tell Amanda. All Teresa. right. And just to let you know, for those of you who don't know, Teresa was in a power chair, had not stood up for six months. And now she's literally on level six, walking five miles on her, uh, on, on, on the treadmill thing and walking with a walker. We are, and what, she, what has she done differently? She says intercessory prayer at praise and prayer. That's the wow. bit she's doing different. She's, she's uh, basically, all I did was worship. All I did yeah. was praise him. All I did was bow down. Wow, amazing Jesus. stuff, Lord. Thank you so much. I know we burnt through all the way this whole hour and a half. I just want to thank all of you for giving us your attention. Uh, put this on your calendar every Friday night, 6 p.m. CST. So that we, you can basically see the presence of the Lord, hear all these praise requests. Uh, we'll have to have a different mechanism as we get all these prayer requests. Cubby did. Oh, Remember, if we is. missed one of your prayer re requests, be sure to put it on the neighborhood. This is where we're gathering. It's the B2T Neighborhood. Download it on your app. Go to B2TNeighborhood.com. That's B with a number two with a T. Bless to teach. B2TNeighborhood.com and be there also join us backstage this is a ministry you can see god's moving on we're so thrilled to have the lord god almighty this is his ministry b2t ministry just uh, go down the link below join us backstage here we do this on mondays and thursdays as well as friday can't go ahead oh yeah rick i'm gonna sing what you just said mm. uh, and all i did was praise great defender all I did was worship you, and all I did was bow down. All I did was stay still. You guys ready? You guys know? Here we go. Yeah. Lift that up again. 
so much better this way. did was praise you went to war and won my battle and all I did was worship and all I did was bow down and all I did was bow down and all I did was stay still We sing a hallelujah, you have saved me so much better. One more time, hallelujah, hallelujah, you have saved me so much better. It's wonderful your way, Lord, yeah, and hallelujah, my great defender is so much better. Much better, yeah. So much better, your way. So much better, wow. So much better, your way. We give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. I want somebody to unmute and say, Yes, Lord, amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Beautiful God. Beautiful. What an awesome night. What a few people I mean say yes, awesome Lord. night. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You guys, you guys are just outstanding. Wow. I tell you what, isn't this awesome? So make sure you put on your calendars again, 6 p.m. Friday nights. Again, prayer. there's a written prayer request in a group in the neighborhood. This is where we want you to not have to wait until Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, but that's where you're backstage. We're there Monday, Thursday, Friday. Join free for 30 days. Just go to the link down below. The neighborhood you can download for free. It's uh, B2T Neighborhood on the Apple or your Google, as well as the b2tneighborhood.com. And then you go to the groups and go to written prayer request. Get your prayer request there. We have a bunch of prayer warriors here, many of them on camera right now, be praying for you personally. Uh, God bless you guys so much. Anything else that you wanted to cover, Gus or uh, Kent? No, we are good to go. This was Holy Spirit River Night. I love it. <laughs> Hey Gus, just really give a good. quick uh, thirty seconds on why you're why you're with Amanda Grace. <laughs> well, because I love these people. <laughs> awesome! You're just helping uh, helping out week, build a gazebo. Gonna, Go ahead. Yeah, this weekend we're going to be working on uh, the left side of the house over here, up under the porch, reinforcing some joists and whatnot under the under the porch chris and i that's a little project we have and we'll probably take a little swim uh chris has been in the pool dr bartlett uh he he prescribed a swim in the pool for chris i said that's my kind of doctor so <laughs> right yeah we're just uh, loving the lord and having a good time hey uh i thank you so much hey i know i know we're a little late but do you mind real quick if we do a prayer from Roz? i know i just saw Roz and i had space put it on here i had it i don't yeah. know if you have it in front of you Roz. if you're written prayer do you have do you mind reading that real quick to wrap it wrap us up Yippee! <laughs> so Roz, if you could unmute and write do you have it available 
or do I need to go find it? I, I know I, I know I had it in uh, the neighborhood is where I, found, I had I it. I do, just one second. Awesome. There's Ross. So we'll, we'll wrap up Hello. with a prayer from Raj that she wrote out that I was supposed to read earlier. <laughs> I'm so glad she came Th on. This is, this is Roz without razor blades. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. She yeah. looks better for sure. Hallelujah. Yeah, she does. Okay, I got it, Rick. Awesome, go for it. Okay. Everlasting Father, as the enemy scurries about in panic, knowing they are losing this fight to steal the power over Earth from you, we come closer to you seeking protection from the barbs Satan throws at us. No matter what the enemy throws at us, O oh, glorious Father, we stand strong knowing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are with us. As you give us the strength and fortitude to overcome and resist the fear in what is coming our way, what is directed at us in these times, the evil will not succeed in instilling fear into us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that evil cannot penetrate the safe bubble you have placed around us. By the blood of Jesus, we are fearless, we are strong, we are powerful, we are mighty. We are united by the Lord of Lords, our King of Kings. We decree and declare there is nothing the enemy can throw at us that we cannot throw back at them, laughing in their faces as we reject and rebuke the fear they are projecting upon the people of your nations. O oh, great Ava, we surround ourselves in your sealed an indestructible bubble no barb no fear mongering no attack by the enemy can penetrate our sacred bubble of wow. protection as we are cloaked in the full armor of god covered by the blood of jesus christ and embracing the holy spirit within us rejecting any fear we glorify you father son and holy spirit for keeping us protected against the fear the evil ones are and will be spreading as we rebuke and eject this fear off the entire face of the earth. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, amen and amen. Wow. Amen. Woo. Jesus. I amen. love it. Amen. amen. <laughs> All right. We, uh, I know we extended this quite a bit uh, here, here, but uh, we love you guys so much. Um, again, you're welcome home. Make sure you're here. Uh, with that, if everybody wouldn't mind unmuting and t saying goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.